What's up guys, welcome back to Viewer Castles. Today we're going to start off with Skyman 6, or 96. Castle level is a 19. Jump into it on my knight. Let's see. Alright, so this is a pretty decent combo. Um, obviously works a little bit better against a knight because of uh, an archer. If I saw this, I would just put a volley right in the middle of it all and then just roll backwards and everything would pretty much die. Um, for a knight, he's got to pull the cyclops to him and make sure he doesn't get hit by the cyclops. Because if he gets hit by the cyclops, um, he'll just get like thrown onto the ground and then the Zeke will you know, shoot him in the face a couple of times. So it's pretty good. I would say this is a, this IMAX is way out in the open. Um, an archer headshot would it, at least chunk him down to like one third health. Let's see what a knight can do to him. So as you can see, he can chunk him down as well. And uh, that's obviously good for me. If I can get an elite down to one third health and before the combat really even starts. So I would do something. I don't know. Maybe you'd have to use a different room or put him, you know, behind a wall somewhere in here. I think he might be too fat for that, but. Something like that, and then put what do you, or even just put one of your chickens out in front. You had two chickens here. Put them out in front so that I can't, uh, you know, aggro it the way that I want to. Although this room is difficult to use because it has two different ways the attacker can go, so it's hard to um, anticipate that way. Same thing with this one. You know, this would be a lot better if I wasn't able to get that smite off as quickly as I did. Obviously, it's still good. I mean, this is kind of a a problem that the knight has is with these units. Also, I should have killed off the healers way quicker, so I'll use a potion here. It's a good group. I mean, it's working pretty well for you. He's level 20, I'm level 19, I have decent gear, so I think it should be working like even better against people probably your level. I'm not a great knight, but I'm not terrible at it. Alright, so let's kill off this Zeke because he's out in the open again. This one's not as out in the open. You have this Snotter here, so I have to be a little bit more careful. I think if I do this, though, I should pull the Zeke and then uh, Smite. And then... There. And that's all the DPS of the group down. It's just this annoying guy here. I can use one of the Snotters to heal up a little bit. Well, maybe. Alright. So I'm assuming that group was pulled in through the wall over here or something. So I can see a reason why you would want to put this guy out in the open. Just you have to be careful with that mindset because as you get up with people having higher and higher level gear and better and better gear, my archer would be able to one headshot one shot headshot this if it was like you know level 24 when I had my really good gear. If I got a crit off, it would one head one shot headshot um, pretty much any elite. So, you have to be careful of where you're, um, where you're allowing the person to engage. It's not bad considering, um, if you're not able to kill it, it's just, just going to keep teleporting you around. And if the person is able to engage it, they almost feel like they have a certain obligation to kill it before he gets healed. What they actually are required to do is engage the group and then go after the two healers. So it does kind of work out in a strange way for you. Because people will oftentimes ignore the Bone Puppeteers. I have a problem with that because I've had such good gear on my other character that I'm able to out DPS heals a lot of the time. Whereas with my Knight, he's more sustained damage rather than burst. So he can't really burst someone down quickly. He's got Smite, which is okay, but not amazing. So it's not the worst thing in the world when I say that it's a little too out in the open. I think it could be fine, but if you have if you have the chickens already available or something, there's no reason not to use a spotter in my opinion. Alright, so this is a little annoying to take care of just because it's time consuming, but not a big deal. Alright, so this is kind of 
where I can abuse a corner right here and kill them all before they're able to get a shot off. That's because you don't have... Basically you have this group pulled with one snotter over here and you have this group pulled with one snotter over here. If you had a second snotter right over here and then you had the second snotter right up over in here for this group, um, I wouldn't be able to do that because I would end up pulling two groups if I walked up to this corner. Or you could have a secondary, or a third group, I guess, um, way back in the in the back side here as well. And that could work. But as it is now, I am able to um, abuse the corner, as you can see. Alright, and then, let's see. I have a feeling we should see the boss room soon. Yes, we are. Alright, so there's this spike or uh, springboard trap. Need to make sure not to hit that, so I'm going to just pull back around this corner. And then after I dispatch this, I'll see what it actually does. Kind of when I'm in a controlled environment. It probably just aggroes the boss room, but I want to see what the boss room will do if I aggro it like this. Alright, so there's not really any benefit to throwing you in here. Other than the fact that you'll have two more archers and a Scorpio to deal with while fighting the Captain Clubbage. So, I mean, it's okay. It's it's not the worst thing in the world. Makes it a little bit easier to, um, to engage the boss. Because I don't have to worry about another trap being here. But it's not the biggest deal. Captain Clubbage is actually doing pretty good. But I am able to kill him without using an extra potion. Pretty good castle. It made me use three potions. The eye maxes definitely did do good damage. I'm pretty surprised that that specialization did so well. Um, that's just me not playing much of a knight, so I don't really know how those specializations really work. Um, because I would have said that that's probably underpowered before actually in facing it. But as it is now, I think it's decently hard for a knight to deal with. So um, yeah, pretty good castle. We'll jump into number two in just a second. Alright, next up we have Falcon. Castle level is a 31. So, pretty high up there. Haven't seen him actually take place in any of the competitions, so I would urge you to do so. They're really fun. Um, the one now, you can actually submit yourself to just being a defender. You don't have to attack anybody. So, even if you can't be online um, over the weekend, you can still be a part of it, get the replays from it, which are pretty nice. Although they'll have to be careful a little, a little bit, and like within a certain number of time, you're going to end up attacking a ton of castles if everybody starts registering for this. So they'll have to do some other way. They'll have to make brackets or something, probably, when you get up to that many p players. That's something that if any uh, contest makers like you know Azure or anything um, are looking to make more competitions, when you do start to get up to that higher player base, because we're, we're approaching like 20 castles that you have to attack, which isn't that bad, but when you get up to like 30 or 40, you'll probably have to think about making brackets so that people don't have to spend literally a, a ton of time over those three days attacking castles. Because it is pretty time consuming to attack 40 castles, that would be crazy. And since I work, um, you know, two days out of those out of those uh, those three days, I really only have the first day to do all of the attacking. All right. So back to the castle. We had a mega mutton there. Um, mega muttons, I think, are just a little bit on the weak side at this level. I think that they just don't scale enough at level thirty, it seems, because I'm able to one shot headshot them a lot often. You know. Um, so, I'm not sure about those. I've taken them all out of my castle, personally, because I think there's just better groups. Alright, so you have one of these guys, which is kind of annoying. I mean, they're a little annoying to deal with. You just have to kind of stand close to them, though. You can, with camera rotation, you can get far enough away from them where their shield will drop. It's better used against Jimbos or something, because the Smelly Warriors don't really hurt. Um, but Jimbos do at level 30 or whatever. So, uh... You know, you can do something like that to take lower amounts of damage if you're struggling with, 
these smelly warriors because they won't put their shield up until they're close to you. So if you keep range at them, like you'll see the smelly warrior come around, he doesn't have a shield up. If I shoot him, I can one head one shot headshot him. And if you use like bear traps or kel traps or anything like that, you can drop it, slow him down, and then like vault out of the way. And uh, eventually, once you get far enough away, he'll, he will drop his shield, and you can kill him without having to stand super close to him. So that's an alternative to killing Jimbos and Smelly Warriors with that specialization. So your angles are a little screwed up here. You want to be able to try to block off um, my shot to this Defendatron. I think... can I get to this side? Yeah. So I mean, I, I'm guessing you have it so far away that I can't really volley it from this point. I actually think that there might be... okay, never mind. I was going to say I might have a, a path here that I could walk down. Um, but even if like this was just slightly down a little bit more, so that I can't walk across this side, you can move this one Stairmaster over one hex, so that I can't get this angle straight up, and I also can't get this angle, which I might have missed. Nope, I didn't. So that's something to think about. Alright, this could be a problem. These guys are dangerous as it is. Yeah, I died. Um, Stairmasters like this are dangerous as it is, so if you pull two groups, it can almost certainly mean death if you screw up at all. So that's one of those situations where I didn't want to go back over a trap and it ended up killing me. That's why oftentimes it is better to just go back over a trap, but that damage does, you know, add up. So I can try to do what I was talking about, although there might not be enough range. Yeah, there's not. You have to have a pretty long pathway to do it. But it's fine, it's only a Smelly Warrior. They're not a big deal. Okay. So this pulls something. Yeah, it's gonna be Explodifiers. There's a Webmaster over here, Defendatron. The Webmaster looks like I can pull it um, over the wall whenever I can deal with these Explodifiers. I'll wait for those guys to come around though. Drop the volley now. That'll pretty much clean them up. Um, they can't quite be one shot, one shot volleyed, but they're pretty close. Obviously, if you have a couple extra hundred DPS, you know maybe 900 plus, you'd probably be able to one-shot volley them. Alright, two webmasters and a bad dog. Webmasters actually, like, together, I don't think they're as good as just having one of them. I think one of them is almost, like, it's a great unit, having one of them. But two of them, I think, is a little overkill. Because if one of them hits, the other one will just pounce and miss. So, you know, that's kind of important to note. As well as bear traps shutting them down so easily. I like having, like, one of those, a Stairmaster and a Defendatron or something. Because it adds two layers that are like two different layers of attack, right? You have to deal with them a little bit differently. You know, Stairmasters, you have to wait for them to shoot their thing, move back a little bit, and then keep on firing to take out the Defendatron. Whereas the, uh, the Pouncing guys, you know, if those two attacks offset a little bit, you might have that Stairmaster shoot out its bolt, you have to dodge out of the way, and then the... Spider's about to pounce, so you have to dodge out of the way again, and they combo together really well, because if the spider does hit you, the, uh, the Stairmaster can also hit you at the same time, and you'll be just laying in that, that, uh, field of electricity thing. That's pretty good. Alright, so, this is good, obviously, you have the Charging Cyclops is set up for your archers. The Smelly Warrior I'm still a little bit confused about though. He doesn't really add all that much to the fight here. It might be better off just having another Smelly Archer because the time that that Cyclops does hit you really want to lay on a ton of uh, damage to the hero. Alright, so I'm pulling two groups, kind of knowing that I'm pulling two groups. Let's see what happens. Alright, so we have, again, another one of these Cyclops. Um, I feel like maybe too many Hungerbots, though. Because you kind of get immunity once you get hit by one of them. As you can see right there. Um, hold on, I might actually be in a little trouble. Okay, I'm fine. Um, what was I going to say? You already have the charge from the Cyclops. So I think having two more knockbacks is a little bit excessive. You'll probably either want to add on damage or, I don't know, more support units or something. Probably damage. I would personally do more damage if I was doing that. You could add, you could leave in like one Hungerbot and add in one more Archer or something, but getting hit by the Hungerbot plus the Cyclops, 
like two hunger bots plus cyclops isn't really going to add much damage or utility really you'll have immunity stun immunity for so long that it doesn't really matter all right i guess i could wait around for this i need to get more in the habit of doing this because timers are so long now that there's no reason to take uh, like needless damage from spike traps since as i've said it does add up over time if you just wait the five seconds for this thing to turn around it's a lot easier so these angles look like they're blocked quite a bit better I might still be able to get one up at the top side here. But I think what I'm going to do is just aggro the group itself and just volley across here and see what I can do. Alright. Well, I'm surprised that didn't die, but... The volley will kill it. And then a couple auto attacks, and the rest will die. It's a good group, though. It makes me go over... Well, it possibly makes me go over the spike traps more times, which is good. Obviously, I use um, the same Stairmaster group in my castle quite a bit as well. I'm seeing it more and more frequently as well. I can't say that I invented it because I did discover it in somebody else's castle, so unfortunately that's not one of the things I invented. I may have I may have been the result of making it a lot more popular though. <laughs> that tends to happen sometimes. Alright, so the boss room, two battering rams, a Zeke, and a bunch of a bunch of uh, hunger bots. It looks like the Zeke actually isn't defended, which might be a mistake, because if I drop a volley there and it kills the Zeke, this group doesn't really have much DPS without it. Um, I feel like your healer is less important than your Zeke is, and if you're going to have just one Defenditron, you might want to have um, it being on the Zeke instead. You could easily switch out one of your Hunger Bots. I mean, that's not... I don't know how many points you have if you're maxed out. I don't really want to do the math, but you could either take out one battering ram and one hunt, one one hunger bot or something like that to add in another defenditron, so you could have one on the Zeke and one on the one puppeteer if you wanted. But I don't know. I just think that the the Zeke is really your main DPS, so you don't want to lose that, right? Um, but yeah, pretty good castle. Um, hopefully you'll take part in some of the competitions. There's going to be one coming up like tomorrow, so obviously. Uh, you probably won't make it into that one unless you're already registered. I haven't looked at the regist registration list in a while. Um, but yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Or wait, this is not number three, is it? What are we on? We're on number two. We got to jump into number three castle. All right, so we're going to jump into number three right after this. All right, for number three, we do have Stonewing. Castle levels of 27. Let's see what he's got. Alright, so this is one of the situations where I can pull this group without having to go over the spike trap. Alright, so we have the Mega Mutton, still good at your level. I would keep using that. And we have some Explodifiers. Alright, so I think that's all fine. <clears throat> Some fire traps, and we have this. Again, this group is pretty good. Um, your Stairmasters, this is the level right here, level 28, is where they finally start getting good damage. Let me see if I can take a take of it. Yeah, 250. They're like 40 or so at the, level pre the previous level to this, um, level 24. So they're not really worth it up to that point. 40 damage a tick isn't really anything. You can kind of shrug that off, but 250 damage a tick is a lot more interesting. There's a lot more things you can do with them. So this is a pretty big playing area um, compared to some of the ones that I've seen, but it's still not bad. You know, This is kind of the setup that you want to go for with them. Alright, so this... I feel like I have an angle to this Zeke and I can just headshot it. 
yeah. Most of the time, a Zeke will um, die to a headshot like that, so you'll either have to block off the angle a little bit better or, you know, um, put him more out of the way. Like, just right around this corner even would work, so that, you know, as soon as you aggro it, the um, Cyclops charges you, and then the Zeke just steps around this corner and starts lining up a headshot. So if it does hit, it'll still uh, do significant damage. At least two of the bolts will hit, most likely. Probably all three, though, because the Cyclops level... 7 stun is ridiculously long. Alright, so this is an empty room. Let's see what this is. Alright, so I can pull the second snotter right here. I'm gonna do that just in case I'm looking at explodifiers. I'd rather just pull two. Alright, so we have one of these elite vamps. As you can see, like they're a little low life for my taste for an elite. Personally, they just need to rework the resistances on all of the new elites that they brought around. Because every elite, other than the new ones that they brought, have different resistances, higher resistances, than their, you know, normal counterparts. So, uh, I feel like that's the main problem with them. They kind of, it seems like they, like, kind of lazily put them in, without really looking at all of their stats, which is a little unfortunate. Alright, so, I mean... Um, this is a pretty good little group. You have the Hungerbot that's supposed to slow you down and have the, the Jimbo that hits you, which is okay. I think it's fine. Jimbo's a little bit on the weak side for, for like, sustaining headshots and stuff like that. Obviously, they're not going to one-shot headshot them, but with Bear Traps plus one or two headshots, um, he's going to go down. So, without a Defendatron, he's going to be a little bit weaker than normal, but with the Hungerbot, he might hit a little bit more often. It's kind of a trade-off you have to make. I've stopped using um, Jimbo's as well, just because I think Stairmasters are better space control than Jimbo even is. Although I might throw like one in my castle just for that off chance that he hits and kills somebody. Because it's really nice to have that instant kill factor in your castles. Oh, this might hurt. Alright, so I think if this was like anything else, like other than a Mega Mutton, I would have probably died there. Or at least came very close. Like this is a situation where if you had a Zeke way up in this corner, and I got slammed by the Cyclops, I would probably die, because the combined damage from the stun from the Cyclops, the Spike Trap, and the Headshots would most likely kill anyone. At least anyone besides a Knight. Knights can have crazy hit points. So these, uh... Hold on, I might be in trouble still. Um, but what I was going to say is these mines are actually helping me. As you noticed, what I did there is I kind of came in and I went around the mine, and that would allow me to block the Zeke headshots, so something to think about. Alright, that was an interesting little setup. I saw it, however, um, through the wall over on the other side. This might kill me. I need the potion. So you've made me use two potions, and I'm, you know, quite a bit over your castle. I think I said your castle was 27. So yeah, when I was kind of coming up like this, I saw the Stairmaster, so I rotated to see what was over there. But that could work pretty well, if you don't notice it. I think that the, the Cyclops adds a little bit more knockback than like a Spider, per se, per se um, which might make the Stairmasters have to walk a little bit longer, and then, you know, your stun effect is slowly wearing off as they're walking towards you. So, personally I've had better effect, I've had better success, should I say, um with spider plus uh, spider plus stairmaster combos, but I haven't really used charged cyclops all that often or all that much in um, in this level yet, so it could work out better. All right, I actually would have liked this better if it was knockback, to be honest. Um, again, this would be another situation I think if I was knocked back, I may have died here, especially if I was your level, because like look at what happened. I I I uh, vaulted over this. Which is still pretty common. I do it a lot, and I should stop, because it's getting me killed really often. Most of the times that I die is from this exact thing, where I vault over, and then there's a group that I'm not expecting, and I don't have roll, roll still available, so I can't roll back over the trap or roll to dodge or anything like that. So I landed here, and if, there was, if these guys were on the pinstrike, I would have landed back on top of the spike traps, and then all of the archers would have hit me as well. Um, that might have killed me. So I think that might be a situation where... Let 
where um, where Pinstrike was better. Um, I like a lot of your traps like this. I like the fact that I don't really know that this is coming until after I get here, and I have a split second to dodge out of the way. Or else I'm pretty much going to die. Like A lot of your stuff is set up so that you'll do a lot of damage uh, if it hits, which I like quite a bit. There is ways of fighting against this, so I really hope that they don't start removing things again and nerfing things. Luckily, a lot of the things that are overpowered, like not overpowered, but things that certain people might think are overpowered like this, um, only become overpowered at the later levels because Cyclops' stun gets so much um, so much longer and Stairmasters become so much more efficient and stuff like that. But I think once people start learning how to play the game, they will complain less. You know what I mean? I think a lot of the complaints that got a lot of things nerfed were from newer players that didn't really understand how to control. They were kind of playing it more like you know Diablo where you just kind of run in and uh, you know kill things. Like they don't play it to be smart, where you have to kind of figure out what the defender is trying to do and figure out how to best beat that specific combo. It doesn't really play like a hack and slash, you do have to think about what you're doing. So um, yeah, that's number three, finally. Um, we will end the video here. If you guys enjoy what I do, please subscribe, as always. Um, if you want to be a part of your recast, you can email me at FrenzyCastleRuns with your in-game name. Um, Hotmail.com, obviously. The link's in the description. There's also a link to a spreadsheet. I know a couple people have been resubmitting their names that are already on the spreadsheet because they thought that I lost it. So, you know, check down in the description of the video. There's a little link. It's like a Google spreadsheet. Um, you don't have to download anything. Uh, it just pops up on, in your web browser. And you'll be able to see the list of names um, that I have on there. It scrolls down quite a bit, quite far now because I'm still backed up from open house and from farming my life force. So, uh, yeah, you can check there to make sure um, your name is on the list and when you will be um, getting your castle run. I do them in groups of three, as always. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.